Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. I went shopping. So for today's video, I'm going to be showing you what I picked up from the Nordstrom anniversary sale. So if you wanna see what I got, then just keep watching. Hi guys, if you're new here, my name is Morgan. I am a product knowledge enthusiast. I just love knowing anything and everything about all the new makeup on the market and sharing my thoughts with you guys. And one of the most popular sales has started the Nordstrom anniversary sale. So if you are a Nordstrom card holder, there are different tiers as to what date you are able to start shopping the sale. You do have a Nordstrom card, log into your account online and it will tell you what date you are able to start shopping. If you are not a card holder, that's okay. You can start shopping. July 28th. So my day opened up yesterday and let me tell you how committed I am. So yesterday I woke up at 3.30 a.m. I had been on vacation for a week and I went to the airport, you know, I flew home. So I was in Florida in the morning and then I got back to Maryland and you know, I'm running on like no sleep and I was like, but we have to go to the Nordstrom anniversary sale. I need to check it out. My day opened up. So that is commitment. I was very, very tired. So I didn't get to look at really the clothes and stuff like that. So this is going to be my must have beauty exclusives that I picked up. I also picked up something for home, which I will show you, but I probably will continue to shop the sale because I look at the jewelry they had some really cute jewelry. I'm looking at this coach purse. I need to take a deeper dive into the clothing. But if you haven't already, as much as I love the Nordstrom anniversary sale online, it's so much more fun in store because they have it roped off with the yellow ropes so that you can only shop when you're in person. And ugh, the atmosphere of it, it's so fun. Highly recommend you going to the mall because I could have just ordered this stuff online. But I, I wanted to physically drive 45 minutes to go to the mall. So that is what I did. Now, if you watch my Nordstrom Anniversary Sale Beauty Exclusives video, this haul really isn't going to be much of a surprise to you. I told you I was picking this stuff up. There's not really any surprises, but this is just to take a closer look at the kits that I picked up. So we're gonna start off with the set that I'm wearing. This guy, I filmed the review today. I'm wearing it right now. So that should be up tomorrow, most likely. I picked up the Charlotte Tilbury. The set is called the 5 Minute Face on the Go. Oh, I just dropped it. But this is the Instant Look in a Palette in Sunset Dreamscape. So this is $75. I love how all of the items have the stickers on them. Again, it's just the atmosphere, the experience. It's so fun. And Charlotte Tilbury has a lot of awesome other sets. There's some skincare sets that are really cute. One that I highly recommend, I just owned everything in it, so it didn't make sense for me to pick it up, is the Pillow Talk set. It's even cuter in person. You'll love the way that it's packaged. But in here, we have the Instant Look in a Palette Sunset Dreamscape Palette. Again, I give you all you need to know in my review that's coming out soon. You'll have those in-depth swatches and comparisons but this is a little sneak peek for you. You can see that I'm wearing it. It is so pretty. This is the only set that I've opened, by the way. So the rest is gonna be a surprise. Then the deal here is you get the Pillow Talk push-up lashes. It's just a mini travel size. This mascara is a big fat okay to me. It's not amazing, but it's definitely not a bad mascara. Like, I don't mind having it. But this was $75. As far as the deal, normally these palettes alone are $75, so you get the additional mascara. It says it's a $90 value. I don't know about all of that, but I'm gonna skip through this one pretty quickly because you have a review coming tomorrow on it, but spoiler, I mean, this look is really, really cute. Okay, the next set that I picked up is the New Lash Lash Enhancing Serum Set. So I always pick this up during the sale. So this isn't anything super new and exciting to me. I just think it's a good deal. So this is $95. It is not cheap, but this is the eyelash serum that I use. I mean, I'm wearing falsies right now, but just know my lashes have really improved ever since I've started using this about two years ago. So I stay consistent with my use on it. So I like to get a deal on these. It's expensive, but I can guarantee you it works. If you saw what I was working with before I started using this. I mean, it's amazing. Let me open it up. Hold on. Basically, it just comes up 
with the two lash serums. It's not quite buy one get one free, but it's pretty, pretty close. So again, every sale that they have on these, I pick this up. So it's a little bit boring, but it works. I'm telling you, you can even put a little bit in your eyebrows and it will help your eyebrows grow. I've never tried that, but I've heard that. Okay, the next beauty exclusive that I picked up. I was like not sure if I wanted this or not. It didn't necessarily look unique by any means, but I, I wanted it. I was in the mood to buy things. So I got the NARS. It's called the Pleasure Trip Cheek Palette. It says this is an $87 value for $45. I don't know if that's actually true. I don't think it's a, whatever. Anyways, $45 for this trio. So the box, super cute. This is made in Italy. It has an 18 month shelf life. Here's what the packaging looks like. It's a nice bright pink here. Uh, very simple. I mean, nothing crazy, but I like how much it pops out. So the shades in here are Wonderlust, Lucky Star, and Wild at Heart. Like I said, I have not even opened this yet, so let's take a look. Ooh, it's really great and kind of neutral colors for the face. Very interesting. The packaging is so bright, but the inside is like neutral. It's a little bit more neutral than what I'm seeing online really. So let me swatch these for you. They have that sheen to them. It's kind of like a baked gelée formula. No Laguna here. So here's what the colors are looking like. Can't help myself. I'm gonna use this shade right here. Let's put on a little bit of blush. I mean, I already have blush on, but what's more, right? To give a nice sheen to the cheek. So I imagine this is like a bronzer blush and highlight combo here. I will definitely have to do some digging for this. I'm a little bit underwhelmed, I'm not gonna lie, for $45, but it does look like a great everyday kind of duo. Hopefully the formula is really great. If they keep up with their formula on this, I'm sure it's going to be beautiful, but yeah, this is what I got. It looks like a cute little set, but again, not super excited about it. Let's talk about though what I'm super super excited about. You guys pumped me up for this because at first I was like, yeah, but now I'm like, yes, I need it. So I picked up the Tom Ford Eye Color Quad Set. This is $169, so I still hurt my soul a little bit. It's a $213 value. This is a true, true value, you know? That's what the price would be if these items were sold individually. What got me really excited about this, well, first of all, here is the box it comes in, just a nice light gray box and then you open it uh -huh. guys i normally do not purchase tom ford at full price i have to really love it to purchase that at full price when tom ford comes out with a new item i always get asked are you trying this are you trying this the answer is most likely no <laughs> just because uh, he comes out with quality stuff but it really it really hurts my heart to buy so i was really excited about this so the reason i was super excited about this is because you guys actually told me this eyeliner was the best eyeliner you've ever tried so I had to give it a go. So let's take a look. The first thing that we have is a little baby lipstick. This is one of his very small ones in the shade Impassioned. Let's look at it. It's a deeper shade. It's super duper tiny. This isn't the kind of color that I would normally go for. Let's swatch it. But it has a little bit of a sheen to it. Very mature color feel like. So probably not my first choice in a lipstick color, but he does have a beautiful formula. Okay, let's take a look at the next item. This is the I Define Pen in the shade 01 Deeper. This is what you guys told me I was gonna love. So I'm really excited about that. So we have some nice precise felt tip. I mean, it's just a black line, so <laughs> I can't tell you guys much about it, but I'm gonna take your guys' word for it. Oh my goodness, it has another side of an even more tiny pen. Oh, it's even blacker. Like the other side wasn't so black. This side is super black. You can see it's the blacker line. Ooh. Would you guys like to see a full review on this whole set? Let me know in the comments. I got the Charlotte Tilbury down and I think I might do a review on this whole set if you're interested. Not sure about the NARS. Like I said, a little underwhelming. But anyways, okay. Then we have the Extreme Mascara. I do not want to open this yet. I don't know if I'm ready to open up a new mascara because I just already opened up the Pillow Talk. But okay, I have a Tom Ford mascara. And then this guy, you guys know I'm all about the eyeshadow palettes. So this was what first initially attracted me. And then after your comments, I was extra excited because because of the eyeliner, but this is the quad in the shade Coquette. Now, I believe this is a new and exclusive quad. Please correct me if I'm wrong. Minder, I am not a Tom Ford expert as far as history and what's been available and what's not been. I only know as much as 
since I've been interested. But this is really beautiful. I also took a look at the other Tom Ford set that came out. And that one, it reminded me a lot of Body Heat. The warm quad. I just wasn't as into it. This one, really pretty, great kind of mauve plummy tones. Let's swatch it. And Tom Ford's quads, I will say, I don't like to really judge it by swatches because I just feel like the way that it applies on the lid, the way that it looks on the lid, is always a bit more of a different experience. I love this. You guys know I love pinky mauve bright eyes. That's exactly what this is giving me. Ooh, this one is super pretty, you guys. I think I'm really gonna like this one. Yeah, the other one I thought it was pretty, but it was a bit too warm than what I would normally prefer. This one was much more up my alley. So I know $169 about killed me, but I'm really excited for this set. I don't know if I'm more excited than the Charlotte Tilbury because I just, I love the Charlotte Tilbury formula and the instant look in a palette, but this one is like my split to myself. So as far as the beauty exclusives, that is all that I picked up. I feel like I'm not done shopping the sale. I really only picked up because I was so exhausted what I knew I wanted to have, what I knew I wanted to create videos on and cover. But I think over time I might pick up some jewelry, maybe some clothes. When we went yesterday, I bought Jose a very nice pair of jeans because, you know, boys, at least my boy, he wears the same clothes every day. He alternates between his two pairs of jeans, doesn't want to spend too much money on clothes, and I forced him to try on these expensive pair of jeans. I wanted him to have like a nice, robust, expensive pair that's gonna last him forever because he's gonna wear them every single day. And I sold him, he tried it on, he was like, yes, these are amazing. So I was excited about that. So I got him a nice pair of jeans from the sale. And then I did pick up one home item. And I guess I know I'm growing up when I'm interested in the home section. I don't own a home yet, but I also bought this for photography purposes. It's very heavy. I'll have to show you some overlay footage but this is $64 originally a hundred it's super heavy but it's a turntable so it, it turns like this first of all I love marble I want marble in my future home and I just think that this is a beautiful decorative piece but the real underlying reason why I bought this now is because I can totally use this for photography and product shots and I don't know, Jose also had that vision as well. So I'm gonna play with this. I feel like I can do something cool with it for my channel and all of that. And I also think it's a beautiful decor piece. So I can't believe I spent $60 on it, but I'm in love with it. Anyways, that is all I picked up from the sale for now. I think the section that caught my eye the most was the jewelry section. Oh, they have some beautiful bobble bar pieces. So I'm still shopping it. I like to pick up piece by piece, but that's what I picked up the other day. So let me know what you're picking up, what you're excited to get. And if you aren't subscribed to my channel already, I would love it if you would consider taking the time to do so. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye guys, have a good one.